Hi there, and welcome to another video on the Bite Size channel. Today, I'll be giving you an introduction to the Geometry Points op. I'd just like you to pause the video and make what you see here. Great, let's get started. So, we have here the simple spline op with the basic material new, point material, point cloud from array. These two are covered in a previous Bite Size, so check them out. Go over here, I'm gonna grab a random array 3x. This generates an x, y, z array. So I'm going to plug this also in here, and I'm just going to put the seed on one number. And as you can now see, we have the points, and in between all of the points, a line is drawn. We could go here to simple spline, turn off line strip, and then it renders them individually. Let's put it back for now. So this is just to show that these guys here are working. But what we're interested in today is a different op. So I'm gonna go over here, and I'm gonna grab a sphere two op, and boom, the whole screen fills up. I'm now gonna go here, I'm gonna grab that geometry output, I'm going to go here and get the geometry points up. Get the vertices of a geometry as an array 3x. So I'm just going to click this. So here we can see we've got four different array outputs from this geometry that's plugged in. Vertices, faces, text coordinates, normals. We're only interested in this one right now. So I'm going to get it and I'm going to plug it in there and I'm going to plug it in here. And we're not really seeing much. Why is this? It's because we're rendering the sphere. We only need to output the geometry once. So let's go here and insert the trigger once up. This now means that the geometry is output once on load when the patch starts. And it now outputs this array here. So let's go to point material. Make the size a little bit smaller. And as you can see, we've now got an array of points from the geometry. Um, so basically, all the vertex data has just been turned into an X, Y, Z array. We could go here, and we could grab a cube op. We could now disconnect the sphere, plug this in here. And as you can see, we now have the lines and the points from the geometry points op. One last little trick with some ops. If we go here and we say tessellate geometry, you're basically subdividing it. Uh, that's something you're just going to have to Google. Don't have the time to cover it in this video. But if I go here now and I put this on free, as you can see, we now get this really detailed subdivided mesh. So the geometry point swap is a great way to be able to grab the vertex data from a mesh and to be able to visualize it as an array. Hope this video has been educational and informative. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them under the video below or to post them on the forums. Thanks for your time. Bye.